Hey, coming up right now, why these two suspected thieves were dueling it out within seconds after a delivery drop off. Also coming up, it's the latest big city jewelry trend. New Yorkers fishing for their next big purchase. A little bit later on, it's a rude awakening for one passenger on this low budget British airline. When he wakes up from his nap, we'll tell you about it. Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your host, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everybody. I'm Andrea Jackson. Mitch English here <laughs> welcoming you to Daily Flash. So glad to have you here as we uh, wa wrap up the week on this Friday. We're going to have good times here. And, uh, oh, of course, Matt Doolittle is here. Matt, I heard you talking about Brian Cranston. What's it going on? Our best friend. Yeah, it's a nice love. I love me some we, Brian We've Cranston. had some hangout time. Uh, he is apparently about to replace Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart in the X-Men universe as they're rebooting all of that as Professor X. It would be hard for me to see him bald and not see Walter White. Right. That's that, going to be. That's, that's, the that's, that's a good point. That's the yeah. only thing I'd see about. But maybe, maybe, the, maybe not the, uh, the yeah. OT. Is he helping the X Men, or is he secretly selling yeah. meth out of that out of that mansion? Oh <laughs> yeah, blue meth. Yeah. Well, we'll know if there's a tent, if there's a, a termite tent around the mansion. <laughs> yeah. That's how we'll know. He's got Wolverine yeah. running drugs. Right. I just put something, good, yeah. I, I don't know if any of you saw The Bureau on uh, Apple TV. It's a uh, French yes. detective yes. series. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Anyway, George Clooney and his company bought the rights to do an American version. Oh, really? Michael Fassbender from I know uh, you're the Netflix uh, movie, The Killer, yes, I can uh, yes. is going to play the lead detective role in this show. Well, good. And, right. it's, and it's inspired and based on a true story. You know, we've had a lot of British shows that made it over across the pond yeah. as they are very successful. One of the biggest that people don't realize is Three's Company. It was based off of a British show called Man About the House. Really? I don't know why I know that trivia. For some reason, I do. Fascinating. All right. All right. All there right. you go. Um, I, I found another story this morning. Tell us about I thought it. you guys might find interesting. A scientist wants to implant a chip into prisoners' minds to make them repent their their oh, sins uh, yes. so they can see cool. their crime from the victim's perspective. And hopefully by the time they get out of prison, having this AI chip implant, whatever they do, the technology will rehabilitate them and give them a different perspective. It's called Cognify. My understanding now, Brian Cranston is actually the one that's <laughs> going to make it. <laughs> no, I, I, I appreciate that. And you guys know that I have this big thing about just, you know, forgiveness and seeing things through other people, yeah. you know, with the actually you know, what happened with my son. I can actually see that that sort of thing really being effective because a lot of times it's that empathy or, or, yeah. or um, even just having compassion or whatever, if not seeing what the other person has gone through, what you what your actions did. Yes. Until you do that, until it happens to you, is when you realize that's when you become basically repentant. Is yeah. When you can see somebody other's. Uh, the question that's is like, does the does the chip stay in the prisoner once they leave? Oh, yeah. Like, are you reprogramming a prisoner while he's in prison or she? Love and then what idea. happens if they go out of prison? Do they continue? To, are they continued to be controlled by this technology? Right. You've just a premise for a, a, a TV, great show, TV right? show. Get yeah. Clooney on that one. Yeah. You're a good friend with them. We're yeah. friends with Cranston. You're friends with yeah. Cranston. We got that side of it. Sure. We got that side of it. <laughs> All right, check this out. You know, sometimes you just go, what is going on? We have some shocking footage, and we're going to show it to you. We want you to watch it. Uh, uh, it actually captured the moment where two, two suspected package thieves Crazy. were duking it out just after a delivery driver had dropped off the package is a FedEx guy. The video posted on social media shows a duo fighting on a porch. Homeowner said the package included some very expensive cell phones. Now, the FedEx driver can be seen walking up the driveway and placing the package near the front door before snapping a photo of the completed delivery. In the background, you see a white car pull up. Then you see two dudes jump out in two different cars in front of the house and make a run for the package. Here's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they are figuring there's two things Look at that. It's crazy. Yeah. It, two things. Number one, the, the owner said there was very expensive cell phones in it. How did they 
you know, they, how do they know that? Right, because it's always a gamble. Well, we had that story last week where we heard it was a an, a watch. It was, a, oh, you know, it? Okay. it was an iWatch and uh, an Apple Watch. And uh, how do they know? Is there somebody on the inside that's saying this technology is going to these particular Have you been addresses? Hacked? Yeah. Have you been hacked? Yeah. I mean, so I'm wondering if this is kind of an inside job. I, you you got to wonder about that. If yeah. somebody maybe knows that when you say inside job, yeah. maybe somebody knows at Apple or I'll say any big company and they're yeah. tipping it off saying hey look another possible scam could be where the fact that people are having things delivered to people's houses like drugs illegal stuff yes and, and then they're, they're running up to pick up the all you need is the tracking number and you know right. when it's come matter of fact they'll even tell you even when i order stuff on amazon say hey you're 10 stops away yes. from, from getting your stuff so keep up keep that in mind when's the solution and what is the solution when you see two dudes running up to the door what do you I know expect? a big thing they're selling right now are lock boxes for your own house that'll go outside they they have a code on it that they give to like the delivery instructions yeah. in Amazon and they're the only ones that can open it and it's only bolted to the ground new, so guys can't even just pick up the I box love that and idea run. and so I, that's what people are having to go to now new construction is going to have to come in on that because this is not going away Del home delivery is never going to go away it seems away. like it's getting worse that, like the the crime on yeah. home delivery is getting 10 times worse and i thought of this uh, there that del taco by our house mm -hmm. they have a thing that's on it's not on the entrances where it's just pick up and you type in a code and get your so if you order online and go pick it up it's waiting for you like in the safe that's on the outside so they're thinking new construction's doing that sort of thing why not bring that into the I home i gotta tell you every time we go out to like a first watch or someplace and yeah. they've got all the food in those cubby holes i'm like how do they know you're the legit of, person picking that food up a lot of places up? have started making you sit, go up and show them the thing and they'll bring it from behind the counter oh. because that kept happening where people just walk the well. chipotle by us that kept happening a lot with one guy in particular would just walk in grab food and leave every day wow you can do it and I think that's where those safe boxes are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the way, next time you steal, make sure you, uh, the, the eggs are over easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just I got quick, you. Thank next you. time you order it, I'll steal it. All so right. you can... And remember, hey, hey, I'm not buying. Two okay. for one, two for one. Good thing you guys got that worked out. <laughs> uh, if you want pearls from a certain New York jewelry store, you're going to have to use some muscle. At the Pearl and the Beast, shoppers can fish for mussels, crack them open, and keep the shiny pearls they find inside. Pearl-seeking patrons can choose any muscle from tanks located throughout the store. The cost is around $80 per muscle. Each tank is filled with different types of Look muscles labeled by the pearls each one is likely to produce. Some customers get lucky and find more than one pearl. Now, if a customer picks a muscle with no pearls inside, employees will pick another one free of charge. Oh, okay. So you'll get a pearl no matter yeah. what. Okay, that's if nice. If you spend the 80 bucks, you should at least get something. And our Disney guy, Matt, They've quickly. They've been doing that at Epcot yeah. for decades. There we go. At okay. the Jap Japanese Pavilion at Epcot. They've oh. been doing that. They make a whole show out of it, and the kids yeah. get up there, and they get a pearl. Some of them are come out, and they're pretty big. I've been there, and they, they get big ones. They're pretty good. It's like 25 yeah. bucks. All right, I, this has happened to me, and but that's never funny. on camera. Uh, check this out. This dude, he's on a nap, right, on a plane, and he's, he's he falls asleep, and uh -huh. I, I totally get it. However, the moment he wakes up captured, it's all during a flight on EasyJet. That's a low budget British airline. Uh, the message on the video says, when you, when the sleeping passenger next to you thinks we've landed, but we've really been stuck on the plane for two hours and we haven't left London. But it shows a woman on the plane laughing with her hand against her face while a man sitting next to her also seen chuckling. Sorry, mate, we still haven't left, reads the caption on the post. So basically what happens is he's sitting, he, he falls asleep, and that's when I fall asleep on the plane because you're rushing, 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 you get on the yeah. plane and you sit on the plane and it's that, mm -hmm. that noise puts me right to sleep. Really? But and I've done this, and then th you know, once you take off, I oh, think, oh, we're landing. The worst. And, and then now I'm wide awake the entire time. But anyway, he was, fell asleep on the tarmac and woke up. You know what was going on? <laughs> right. And the lady was video it, so it's great. Now that's that's proof that you should take your cocktail in the ambient after. After. You've, you <laughs> know, Make sure you're in flight in to do flight. that. <laughs> nothing worse than that. Hey, we hear that Prince Harry actually looking for a permanent home in the UK so that he can hang oh, out with well. his friends, who <laughs> doesn't like his wife. Royal author Tom Quinn says that Harry, he walked away from his royal duties back in 2020, says he actually misses the old life in London. Quinn said that friends of the 39-year-old royal refused to visit him in California because they just don't like his wife, Meghan Markle. After getting evicted from the royal cottage, Harry and his family moved in a $14 million mansion in Southern California. Uh, all I know is when one person is looking for their own little place, 
it doesn't help the rumors that things are not doing not, well. Do you know you what I'm saying? So, no. Especially in another country. In a, a completely yeah. other country. And, and there's also a guy that's like, hey, if you're going over there for a couple of weeks, I'm sure you can find digs yeah. on your own. I'm so, guessing there's got to be one guy friend still left that will let him crash at his pad. Yeah, just they don't like the, What does that say, though? Like, if you don't like somebody's spouse, uh, you, you could put up with some, like, you know, like, hey, come on over. Yeah. But, I would, if I was, let's say if I didn't like Alan, let's yeah. just say I love yeah. Alan, he's a great guy. That, but like, I would still hang out with you, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. I, just, I would tolerate that. Right. Now the thing, I think it's the other way around with Mitch. <laughs> no. We tolerate Mitch. No, not at we all. We want to hang out with Liza. Let's ask about you. Like, oh. <laughs> I could tell you from personal experience, they do not like her over there as a country. Yeah. Oh, they don't yeah, like right. her. They feel like she took a national asset away from them. They don't like her. Okay, I who's the money on to get divorced first? Ben Affleck? And J Lo or oh, yeah. Meghan Markle. Oh, the money's and on that. Harry. I say Ben because they, and Jen because they know how to do it, really, yeah. right? Think about that. More flash after this. Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. It's time for us to check in with Tony Toscano to find out what's coming out of Hollywood. Straight to your screen, no matter what size you're gonna wear it on. Well, with more, here's Tony. Thanks, Mitch. Entering its 12th season on Hallmark is the romance drama, When Calls the Heart. I am so sorry for hurting you. For letting fear get in the way. If you only knew how my heart lifts when I think of you. And I think of you often. New modern problems arise as the series enters the 20th century. I chatted with series stars Aaron Krakow and Kevin McGarry. I think there is nothing like When Calls the Heart um, on TV. I, I think there's a wholesomeness and, 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 a, and a family genre that, you know, used to be offered a lot more on TV that's not offered so much. And I think When Calls the Heart does that so well. Anybody looking for that kind of finds us, and yeah, we're one of a kind, and we're the only one kind of doing that right now, so. It's really true. You hear about in so many families, people go to their own rooms with their various screens, and they, they watch their shows separately or independently. Yeah. But I hear from so many families that their families come together when they're watching When Calls the Heart. They gather around the TV screen together on Sunday nights, and that's really meaningful that we're a show that brings families together. When Calls the Heart is one of Hallmark's most popular family series and offers well-written storylines and engaging characters. Again, you can check it out on the Hallmark Channel and streaming on Hallmark.com. It gets an A and is rated TVG. Streaming on Netflix is the brand new animated movie, Ultraman Rising. Not good. Retrieve the package. Yes, sir. She thinks you are her mother. In the film, a superstar baseball player returns to Japan and becomes the latest hero to carry the mantle of Ultraman. I chatted with the film's voice cast. Reluctant hero. But again, <laughs> um, as you know, I'm working with legendary talent. Um, Tamlin, Getty, and and uh, bring to the audience Kenji Sato. So it's, it's been a quite the journey and, and I've, I've grown a lot. Completely, because every corner uh, was a turnaround. Then all of a sudden, when we actually saw the whole piece, I was stunned. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. I was just totally blown away by it. You know, not only caring for little baby Emmy, baby Kaiju, he's also caring for his parents caring for Emmy uh, and caring for baby Emmy for this this little baby kaiju that we're all going to fall in love with, but that we're all connected in this world, and I think that's the universal story here. Ultraman is an animated film exploring the topics of fatherhood, family, and honor, underscored by beautiful animation, writing, and a powerful soundtrack. Again, it's streaming on Netflix and gets an A. It's rated PG. For The Daily Flash, I'm film critic Tony Toscano.
here, Tony, and hey now, welcome to Doing It This Week with Matt Doolittle. That's, uh, that's me, that's a guy and a thing and all the things. Well, this week, let's jump into it, and I'd like to applaud, but also scold one of our national retail gems, Target. Yes, Target, if you want to be fancy, the place you all go and make yourself feel better with a Starbucks at the door and lesser chance so you'll end up on the show on Patrol Live. Well, Target is finally putting some rules and stepping back from the whole self-checkout idea at their stores. They're going to start limiting the express self-checkout to 10 items or less. They'll be opening more traditional lanes with, you know, humans, and the stores can adjust to the amount of traffic in the stores to determine if the lanes will be open at all. I, for one, applaud this as a move to hopefully obliterate these lanes all together. I get it. People want to get their stuff and get out quicker since we're all using tap, tap, tap a roo at the anyway at the cash register. You but know, when like it takes Publix. you an extra five minutes to find the barcode on the that Publix pillow, you scan it, apply your discounts, scan your card, wait for the machine to let you know if you're paying by card, cash, or gift card, then swipe, wait, get receipt then pack up your own stuff and leave. Did these stores get so greedy and we got so lazy that one of the most important jobs in the world is trying to be taken out? And now we have to bag our own stuff. That was actually my first job when I was 16 and got yelled at for squishing someone's sushi. I don't want to do it because I know I'll squish my own sushi now. I was a horrible bag boy. On top of it, the stores have to be losing money. Every day we hear about people stealing, swiping a TV and getting it rung up as a Pop-Tart. And the last part of this for Target, and again, we love you, Target, but we can't count to 10 in the regular line, let alone what we're gonna have to do when we go up there and do all the work ourselves. If I'm gonna go back to feeling like a worker at a grocery store, I'll do what I did then, and I'll, when I work there, sneak a bunch of beer out of the back into my buddy's Honda, and that's what we did back then, and that's what you'll be doing it. Now, guys, what do you guys think about these, these, uh, these self-checkout lines? Are you guys with them or not? Well, he, here's the thing, Maddie, is I like but doing like, it. I, I like bagging my own stuff as well, so I don't necessarily have an issue with it, and I think that it speeds thing, things up as well. If they can regulate it, because some of us are proper dum-dums and don't know how those things work or find the barcode. Have you ever seen somebody over the age of 50 try to work one of those fancy Coke it, machines? They, no, it doesn't, doesn't end well. You're right, and, and it's the, it, I'm behind that person usually. And I think that mm -hmm. we're at a we're all tech savvy enough that I think we can go through, and it's almost kind of fun. And then when, you know, you have kids, especially when I have a 13-year-old, he wants to do the beeping stuff. It makes it a little bit better when the, you go to the grocery. Then store. go get a job at the grocery store. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I like that. Maybe I'll take you next time and I'll teach you how to do all the UPC codes. Teach me how to not squish my sushi. Right. More Flash after this. sheriff and an ex-Green Beret, and he's investigating a murder in a town at the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains. We're talking about the new series Blue Ridge, and joining us right now is the star of Blue Ridge, Jonathan Schock, who plays Sheriff Justin Weiss on the show. Jonathan, thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Well, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. So you have a new series coming out. It's called Blue Ridge, and it's based on the 2020 movie. Can you tell us more about your character? Well, Justin Wise is the, the lead of the show, so he's the one that solves the crime, has to figure out what happens in the small town, what is going wrong, what is going right, and at the same time, he's trying to balance that with his family. So how did it feel to be back on the screen with your on-screen family, played by Tegan Burns and Sarah Lancaster? I have this incredible bond with Tegan. Every time that she's on the screen, I just my, my eyes well up, my heart fills, and then Sarah plays my wife this uh, longing relationship that I, I want to make whole. So that's what we did with Blue Ridge's series. We, we brought a lot more of that longing to the screen. And the rest of the cast of the series is pretty amazing too, right? Well, the, the cast that's surrounding me on, the, on Blue Ridge is astounding. We got A. Martinez, we got Tom Proctor, we have Max Martini, Michael O'Hearn, Aaron Cahill, Bruce Boxleitner. Every single episode, they just brought an incredible energy and light to the piece. You know, one of the things we love about this show is that it's exciting and you can watch it with the whole family. That's pretty rare these days. Blue Ridge is the type of series where I could sit with my nine-year-old and my 83-year-old father and really enjoy it. That's one of the themes that I'm looking forward to the most, that, that it's family-oriented. Okay, I gotta ask, fans of your movie, that thing you do, really wanna know 
Is there a chance we'll see one of the wonders in Blue Ridge? I wonder what happened to the O-Neaters. You know, you just got to watch Blue Ridge to see what happens with uh, my connection to that thing you do. Because there comes a day in everyone's life where the dream that you dream becomes that thing you do. That's great, Jonathan. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us. We can't wait to see the series. Oh, I can't wait till you watch the series. And thanks for having me and uh, look forward to you uh, getting to see Blue Ridge, the series. Jonathan, thanks again for joining us. Blue Ridge, the series premieres on the INSP Network, July 28th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Check out this interview and more at dailyflashshow.com. Thank you there, Maddie. Appreciate it. It's summer. It's a bold new era of Minions Mayhem. Ooh, boy. Some of you may be wondering why you're here. Uh, huh? We need volunteers. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. <laughs> you will be the first to test our super serum designed to transform you into cutting-edge agents. Or you might just explode. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our new secret weapon, the Mega Minions. All right, well, in honor of the latest installment of the Minions franchise, we actually wanted to test your Despicable Me movie okay. knowledge. Andrea and uh, Maddie, guys, you can play along. Uh, you have to represent all the viewers out there. Right? Okay, I'll try. So I'll do my go. best. All right, here we go. Here's our first question that we're going to go to. Uh, where did Gru steal the Eiffel Tower from? Was it Paris, Las Vegas, Reno, or New York? I would first say Paris, but I'm guessing it's, maybe it's the Paris in Las Vegas. Uh, the answer is Las Vegas, Las indeed! Vegas. Very nice. Okay, here's our next question. Which minion prematurely fired the rocket launcher in celebration? Stuart, <laughs> Russ, Nigel, or Dave? Uh, how about Russ? Russ, it was actually, believe it or not, it was Dave. Dave! Dave. Oh, shoot. Dave. Dave, that was my next Keep guess. Going up. There we go. Keep rocking and rolling. All right, here's our next one. What is Vector's real name? What is Vector's real name? Victor Hattie, Gru, Ver Victor Perkins, or Gru Hattie? Oh, uh, Victor Perkins? Victor Perkins. Real name is Victor Perkins. It is. Woo! Very good. You're doing well. All doing right. really, really well. Here's our next one. Who owned the orphanage where Margot, Edith, and Agnes lived? Who owned the, uh, or or the orphanage? orphanage? Uh, Denver, Perkins, Miss Hattie, or Miss Smith? I'll go Miss Hattie. Uh, believe it or not, it is Miss Hattie. It no is. No way. You're doing really well oh, on this. These are some good guesses. All right, okay. here's our next one. Uh, what was Agnes's favorite creature? A unicorn, a pony, an elephant, or a cow? Well, I'm a, I'm a horse person. I'll go unicorn. A unicorn it is. There's only one. You did really, really well out there. Yes! Good job. There you go. Woo! Uh, Matt wasn't feeding you the answers, was he? I don't, well, he was giving me his uh, signals, hand okay. signals over He's there. He's our little minion. All right, for <laughs> our fans that are in the Orlando area, we're actually giving you a chance to be one of the first in the country to see Despicable Me 4. Nice. All you have to do is just head to our socials. You can find those links on our website at dailyflashshow.com. And of course, you can click on the link for your chance to win a couple of tickets. And if you want more details on DM4, you can uh, visit our website, dailyflashshow.com. Dot com. You can be able to check out all that. So this much looks more. So much fun. You know it is, and uh, it, it's one of those franchises. I think everybody just finds the humor in it, uh, mm -hmm. no matter what age you're in. Yeah, there's the adult interpretation and the kid interpretation, yeah. right? Yeah. So, oh. so it's going to be fun to be able to check out that and see where their new adventures are yeah. are going to be landing with that. Very cool. All right, we got more trending news and entertainment right here on Daily Flash. And again, our website always open, always free, and always waiting for you at Daily Flash Show. Dot com. Check it out. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go anywhere. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hey everybody, I am Mitch English. I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. Happy Friday. Yeah. We're so glad to have you along in here. You're enjoying your day. You're watching, you're, you're on the other side of the house, you hear this crash through your, your ceiling, and you're like, what the heck is this? You walk over and come find out it's like this, this cylindrical tube that fell from the sky. Not from an airplane. Not, no, not, not the from blue ice. It's not from an airplane. 
It's from the International Space Station. No! <laughs> this actually happened, uh, and now the family that uh, had this uh, basically um, and went through this home, they're like, well, hey, you know, this thing fell through the sky, and now our house is destroyed, uh, or at least $80,000 of it. Who We're, we're going to sue NASA. Right, who's going to pay for well, that? Well, NASA says, well, no, we're not responsible for that sort of thing. And so now the attorneys are saying, look, we need to make sure that we uh, that, that we're, somebody pays for this. And basically what it was was a pallet that was uh, going to the International Space Station. Okay. One of these things fell off as it flew up and whatever, and landed in these, these people's house. All they're asking for, I'm surprised, all they're asking for is $80,000 dollars which is probably how much that thing costs yeah, in the first yeah. place and all it was was probably just a, a, a cylindrical tube and that's it and they don't uh, they don't know who they actually can sue so they went to nasa as well so we'll have to wait and see so does the iss have home insurance that that's you, you know <laughs> or is right. there auto insurance on the uh, on one of these cargo capsules that goes <laughs> that's a good point point. and what is it if you uh, right. i know when i you know when i was in panama city i had to leave once a week Otherwise, if I would have stayed there for a month, I would have been considered the, uh, as a tenant. Yeah. Because if you stay in a place longer than 30 days or whatever, you're considered you're a tenant. Well, there's people up there that are well over 30 days. Yes. Are they tenants? Whether you're looking for a late summer island escape or already planning ahead for a full Caribbean destinations can offer a lot of value this time of year. Travel expert Janine Tornator is here to share some of what you'll want to add to the top of your list. Welcome, Janine. Great to be here. So let's start with some of the advantages of traveling to the Caribbean right now. Yeah, well, this is the shoulder season here, and there are some really compelling advantages, namely uh, fewer crowds, really attractive pricing, and some great promotions this time of year. Just to give you an example, Marriott Bonvoy members can earn up to an extra 10,000 bonus points um, just by coming here between now and September 9th at participating hotels in the Caribbean. So some really great ways to save, not just on your hotel rate, but also get those extra bonus points as well. Okay, let's talk about your first picks for Caribbean destinations, you know, St. Martin, all that. Can you tell us about those places? Yeah, I want to start in St. Martin. This is such a beautiful island destination. Let's start with the JW Marriott uh, St. Martin Beach Resort. Uh, this sits on beautiful Dawn Beach. Uh, it's a really serene island getaway. You have their Opal Lobby Lounge where the mixologists make you some of their great craft cocktails. You can indulge in treatments in their hibiscus spa. Um, and they have a really great swim up bar, plus lots of things like chef led uh, culinary and mixology workshops. So I really love this property. It's a fantastic option. And then I would also suggest Puerto Rico. I love Puerto Rico. No passport required for U.S. citizens. Easy flights, especially from East Coast airports. And there's a lot of diversity, not just in the landscapes, but in the properties here as well. A couple I want to highlight quickly. The Sheridan Puerto Rico Resort and Casino. This is one of the top urban resorts in the heart of San Juan. They have 503 rooms, 22 suites, a rooftop infinity pool, fantastic views, a great spa here. Love this property. And if you want to go a little bit more luxury, one of the one of Puerto Rico's most exclusive luxury properties is called Dorado Beach. Um, it is a Ritz-Carlton Reserve. It's a sanctuary set on 50 acres of what used to be the Rockefeller Estate. And what's really special about this property is its luxury residences. So if you're traveling with a group, with a family, you want to stay in these residences because you get all these residential amenities. You get a private concierge, get your own private plunge pool, you get all these great private outdoor spaces. So it can make it extra special. Not to mention this property is all about connecting you with the local culture through its food, its dining experiences, its spa, and even its bespoke excursion. Sounds great, Janine. Where can we go for more info? Well, these are all Marriott properties, so check out MarriottBonvoy.com for these and for more great Caribbean inspiration. Fantastic. And we'll have all that on our website at DailyFlashShow.com. Thanks, Janine. Summer travel season is in full swing, and for anyone seeking adventure, travel expert and journalist Takesha Burton is sharing tips for making summer memories come to life even before hitting the road. Americans are slated to spend $424 billion in travel this year. One way to maximize our time in the destination is to start with the planning phase. A great way to build uh, memories is to start with planning and as an A-type personality mom, I love to get all the buy-in I can get from my two children by having them involved in the planning phase. What we do is we use the Cricut Joy Extra to create lasting memories. 
I like to personalize, create personalized tags and for our luggage, I like to create iron-on t-shirts for them and we use a Cricut Joy Extra for all of that. The Cricut Joy Extra is a cutting machine. It has, it cuts up to 50 materials like vinyl, cardstock, and my favorite, iron-on. And I use them to create water bottles. You can create t-shirts, luggage tags, and toiletry bags. We're gonna save time and time equals money when we have everything organized in our luggage. One of my top travel tips is to always roll, don't fold your clothing. So if you roll your clothes, you're saving space within your suitcase, and then I take the rolled clothes and put them inside packing cubes. And once you zip those up, they further compress the clothing in order to give you more space in your suitcase. So we're gonna save time there because each of my packing cubes are labeled. I use my Cricut Joy Extra to label everybody's belongings so that when we get to the destination, we're not wasting time searching for items that we need. We wanna be on the beach, not in, stuck in the hotel searching for our bathing suits. So that saves us, ta saves us time, time as well. And also to maximize time in the destination, if you're flying, you're gonna to wanna to be in and out of the airport as soon as possible. I love to jump off the plane and keep keep it moving straight to my hotel. However, with kids, sometimes I'm, I have to check a bag. When I check a bag, I like to have a bright colored luggage tag. That's, I use a, a machine to personalize and I use a color like this. So we have all these luggage tags going around the carousel. They're usually a sea of gray and black, but if you have a pop of color on a luggage tag, like a bright red or a yellow, Put it, on your, put it on your luggage and I use uh, the Design Space, the Cricut Design Space app, which has tons and tons of um, Cricut designs that you can just copy and use. I use the app on my phone, it's a free app, and I can create a beautiful sparkly uh, design like this. My daughter loves sparkles, so we're always sparkling in the airport. And this will give my suitcase away. So I can be feet and feet away and I can see my a suitcase in the sea of tons of other generic suitcases. It gives me opportunity to jump in, grab my suitcase and run to my destination. So there we're saving time, which is also money. So I love my Cricut Joy Extra. I am a busy mom. My kitchen is usually kind of crazy. My kitchen table is always a little bit cluttered, but this machine is so small that I can just put it on the edge. I use my phone and I can scroll through, pick a design and cut something within about five to 10 minutes tops. My kids love picking it. They love being involved in picking out the, the design and that overall gets them excited. And also when everybody knows where their things are and they're labeled, it cuts uh, down a ton on the bickering between my two kids. And bickering is also stressful. So we're cutting down on that as well. So if you want more information, you're gonna go over to cricut.com to get inspiration and information about the machine itself and designs you can make. You know what I love about our website? Yeah. You can go there anytime. That's true. Any day, all days of it, the year. It's like an old friend. It's always 24 there. 24-7, 365. <laughs> what can you find there, Jackson? <laughs> well, you can find all sorts of things about the show. You can find out stuff about you and yeah. me. You can also interact with us, and you can share your thoughts with us. Dailyflashshow.com. Lots of good stuff there. It's all waiting for you, mm -hmm. so go check it out. We got more Flash coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the Daily Flash. Well, these hot summer days, and believe me, they are hot and sweaty. A call for hydrating, fresh summer eats, and with more is registered dietitian Carissa Galloway. Welcome, Carissa. Hi, yeah, no, it's hot out there, and we can Very. actually refresh yes. with what we eat because this is the perfect snack to hydrate and nourish you. These are whipped cottage cheese celery sticks. They're light, they're super satisfying and tasty. And as you can see here, I use the dandy celery because it's naturally sweeter, crispier, and I love this, less stringy than other brands. And I really love these fresh cut options because they make it easier for snacking or meal prep. Did you know celery? When we think about it, 95% water. And I mean, that's, and it's a great option other than, you know, chips or anything salty that's going to dehydrate you. These rehydrate you. They do rehydrate you. So you're getting a little light, crispy snack, hydration, perfect from when you've been out in the sun all day. So the key there is when you go to the store, produce section, look for these iconic red and blue packaging and pick up that dandy fresh cut celery today. It's perfect. And where can we go for more information on all this? Just go to dotofresh.com. Great. And we'll have that on our website at dailyflashshow.com. Thanks, Carissa. Thank you.
Three-time USA Olympic gold medalist Brooke Bennett is sharing her Olympic watch party planning picks and predictions. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited about this up and coming summer Olympic Games. And it's an opportunity for me to welcome in my family and my friends for a great watch party. And the Cricket Joy Extra has allowed me to step up my creativity to make my watch parties really unique and red, white, and blue that I say, if you can think it, you can create it. And what's great is that the unit you see right in front of me is budget friendly, that it's under $200. And Cricket has made it really easy that they have great educational uh, resources by their, their Cricut pros that are completely free, as well as their free design space on their software app with over 50 materials using vinyl, cardstock, iron-on, retro. You can make it shiny. You can make it sparkle. Um, and we've really been able to be creative with this. Um, one of my favorite things is the metal stand where we've taken our chips and we've displayed them. So you can decide where you want your favorite item to be for your watch party, as well as as you decorate your space in red, white, and blue, remember you've got to wear it as well. So I've designed this great red, white, and blue summer game shirt. Of course, I'm going to go swimming as well as you can design your hats. And I say, as you go into your design space, think personalizing it. I have loved working and being an Olympian of having my last name on certain items. So you too can do that. So Cricket Joy has made it extremely easy that you can get all of this information on, on cricket.com. And as you design and you get ready to watch these Olympic games, I, of course, am going to be watching swimming, um, but I'm going to watch all the sports the gymnastics, the track and field, the ones that we know, but what about those new sports that we're gonna see this time for the first time in Paris, like rock climbing and break dancing. I'm excited to see how they're gonna play out on the Olympic stage. But as you root on your favorite athletes, let's remember to practice kindness during this time. These, these Olympians have always um, dreamed of being here and it's accomplishment in itself uh, to be there. So as you're watching, uh, if an event or an athlete doesn't compete quite as well as you think. Let's not get to social media and be the critic. Um, let's get onto social media and support them that this is a time to uh, be Team USA together and actually see the world unite um, in these next two weeks at the Olympic Games. Hey, Subway is at it again. They're celebrating their all new foot long dippers with three larger than life versions. Meet the world's first dip and slides and Subway is inviting you to slide them straight into a pool of sauce. Check it out. Calling all Footlong fans. If you love Subway's latest culinary innovation, the Footlong Dipper, or just a heck of a good time, head to Nashville this Saturday. Footlong fans can become a human dipper. That's right, by barreling down three massive 95 foot long versions of Subway's new Footlong Dippers. These dip and slides will have you braving a 37 foot drop, sliding through a lavash flat bread tunnel before splashing down into a pool of Baja Chipotle, peppercorn ranch, and honey mustard sauce, which is just colored water with a saucy consistency. If you're ready for a big dip, snag a coveted spot at subwaydipandslide.com. Tickets are free, so act quickly. Attendees can also snack on plenty of foot-long dippers at three dedicated tasting cabanas with all 11 of Subway's signature sauces on tap. That means they say 33 possible flavor combinations to try. There's also live music, lawn games, and a Doritos DJ booth giving away new Doritos sweet and tangy barbecue chips. This looks like so much fun. You know, since their debut just last month on the Subway Sidekicks menu, Footlong fans have dipped more than 2 million hot and cheesy Footlong dippers. You can get yours at your local Subway or on the Subway app or even at Subway.com. Lots of summer stuff going on, but that means it's more fun with the entire family. We found a great place to visit. It really has something for everybody. Check this out. Go Land New York Resort is the perfect summer getaway. Ride, climb, and build your way through Lego-themed lands located here in Hudson Valley, New York. We are so excited to announce our newest attraction, the Minifigure Sky Flyer, a gondola-style ride that offers a fully interactive and fun way for guests to travel between the seven themed lands. Plan your next Legoland New York vacation and build memories that last a lifetime. Visit legoland.com slash New York. Hey, we want to remind everybody that there's a great way for you to help. Won't you come? 
Won't you help someone like Matt and check out his preview review? Matt, yes. up here. Yes. Come sit on my lap here, Matty. Matt has a little segment. It's called <laughs> Preview Review. And guess where they can find it? They can find it at Daily Flash Show. Dot com. Com. Won't you help someone? <laughs> Twice like weekly, you'll see me on there trying what to you, get clicks and views. And you tell everybody what you do on that I, preview I, review. I, I review some of the hottest trending stories in entertainment, preview stuff at the theme parks, this? and all that fun stuff. Aww. Won't you help someone like him? Hey, Mitchie. Hey. Jackson. Yeah, I want to talk about that big story uh, coming out of Hollywood. Whoa, 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 hold on, wait, 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 I want to get Matt in on this call, all right, hold on. Hey, what's up, Mitch and Dias? Matty! Mitchie. Matthias. Mitch, my man. So, Matty of Birkinshire. What's going on? Man? Hey, AJ wants us to talk about a big story that's happening. Uh, this kid, the Kiki, says hi. He has his own Instagram. That's great, Matt, but um, I really want to talk about this big story coming out of Hollywood. Oh, dog and cat! You should check it out. Uh, it's just keep the kiki. Oh, I want to know what's going on. With the what? Oh, okay, so uh, real quick. Uh, why does he still have a dial-up modem? Hey, I got to get back to wrestling stuff. It's on the media. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should just try this later. Okay, all right. <laughs> Peace of love. Daily Flash. Where, where are you? It's just better when you're part of the conversation. Join us online. Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Andrea Jackson along with Mitch English and Matt Doolittle. Big question for you. Are you ready for summer? If not, lifestyle expert Chassie Post has the scoop on a couple of must-have ideas to make your summer days go a lot further. Hi, Chassie. Hi, and thank you so much for having me on the Daily Flash. I partnered up with these brands today for a couple of cool summer ideas. Great, so let's dive right in. What would be your top time saver this season? Well, we want to maximize our summertime, right? Well, for me, Shipt is the ultimate delivery sidekick, making life easier with savings, recommendations, and time-saving tips, whether I'm at home or on vacation. And who isn't watching their budgets? From June 27th through July 6th, Shipt's annual membership will be just $49. That's 50% off. It unlocks incredible deals through their Summer of Savings event from retailers like Target, Sephora, local grocers, and more. Plus, new in their app, the list feature allows you to add your favorite products to a list and then to your cart with one click, saving precious time for more fun in the sun. And who doesn't want that? And how about something that will help us during the hot summer days? Well, despite the heat, you can breeze through your busy days odor-free. I'm loving the new secret whole body deodorant for up to 72 hours of odor protection. My personal favorite is the peach and vanilla blossom scent. It's so yummy. Plus, it's available in a spray, stick, or cream. It's gynecologist and dermatologist tested and free of aluminum, baking soda, dyes, phthalates, and parabens so you can apply it from your pits to your bits. It's a great way to feel confident and fresh this summer. You can find it at Walmart and mass retailers nationwide starting at $12.99. Love the ideas. Where can we find more information? For everything I covered, including links, just visit inthenews.tv. Thank you so much. And don't forget to visit our website, dailyflashshow.com. You'll find a link to everything you see on the show, including Chassis' in interview. So, Mitch, big plans this weekend? Uh, this weekend, no, but we're already planning, of course, for our big uh, July uh, excursions, if you will. Yes. If you don't like to hang out at the beach and all the time, it's like, okay, there's the ocean. And, yeah. You know, I mean, what else are you going to I know. Beach? After five minutes, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm good. I've seen it. Uh, at least what I found is, in a marriage is like stockpile all the conversations that are going to be really nice and long for situations like that. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully I won't waste it on the uh, drive down there. You'll be fine. Y'all right. take care. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.